Marsh Harbor, Bahamas, Reuters, Hurricane Dorian pounded the Bahamas on Monday, peeling off roofs, snapping power lines and inundating homes with flood water while creeping toward the U.S. coast, where more than a million people were ordered evacuated. The National Hurricane Center NHC said in its latest advisory at 4 p.m. S2000 GMT that extremely dangerous Dorian continues to bring life-threatening conditions to islands in the Bahamas. It warned residents not to leave shelters until the eye of the hurricane passes. The storm's strongest winds are usually close to the eye. The Bahamas Press reported on Twitter that a boy drowned in the northern Bahamas, the first recorded fatality of one of the most powerful Atlantic hurricanes on record. There were no other confirmed reports of deaths or casualties. As many as 13,000 homes in the Bahamas may have been destroyed or severely damaged, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies said. Houses in a neighborhood in Freeport on Grand Bahama Island were engulfed by 6 feet 1.8 meters of water. It looks like their boat's on top of the water, said Rosa Knowles Bain, 61, a resident who fled two days ago to an emergency shelter. A Reuters witness staying in the hotel at the Abaco Beach Resort on the island of Great Abaco said winds tore off the shutters and part of the roof, and the site was surrounded by a lake of water. The hurricane, which was downgraded late Monday morning to Category 4 on the five-step Saffir Simpson wind scale, was last over at Bahama, packing maximum sustained winds of 145 miles per hour, 240 kilometers per hour, and moving at 1 mile per hour, the NHC said in its 4 p.m. Update Dorian was expected to remain over Grand Bahama for much of the day and night with catastrophic winds and a massive storm surge that could raise water levels by as much as 18 to 23 feet above normal in some areas, the NHC said. Strong gusts and high surf were already being reported along Florida's east coast as the hurricane was about 105 miles 170 kilometers from West Palm Beach, the center said. It added that Dorian would come dangerously close to the state Monday night through Wednesday evening, then move close to the coasts of Georgia and South Carolina on Wednesday night and Thursday. At the White House, staff members reviewed hurricane planning with state and local officials. President Donald Trump was being briefed hourly, White House spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham said. Evacuations Nine counties in Florida have issued mandatory evacuations. These included for parts of Duval County, home to Jacksonville, one of Florida's two biggest cities, and some areas in Palm Beach County, home to Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis urged coastal residents to heed evacuation orders. Get out now while there's time and while you have fuel available, he said in a news conference from the state's emergency operations center in Tallahassee. Brian Opuzzi holds a cold water bottle and a soda as his father takes out their luggage with the clothes at Pedro Menendez High School in St. Augustine, Florida, U.S. September 2, 2019. Reuters, Maria Alejandra Cardona among those being evacuated was Sue Watson, a 93-year-old resident of a retirement community in Kissimmee in central Florida. I was all set to stay home until they had to turn the water off, said Watson, who added that she was not worried for her personal safety but hoped the storm spared the retirement community. Airports closed The storm was causing havoc for travelers on Florida's east coast, where some airports and gasoline stations were closed. Delta Airlines Dal, N, said it canceled 55 flights scheduled for Monday and Tuesday after airports in Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Melbourne and Daytona Beach closed. American Airlines AALO, said operations had been suspended at seven airports in Florida and the Bahamas, and a travel alert issued for more than 20 airports including in Georgia, North Carolina and South Carolina. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster ordered mandatory evacuations for parts of eight coastal counties effective at noon on Monday. 
More than 830,000 people were under evacuation orders in Charleston and other coastal communities in the state, emergency management officials announced. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp ordered evacuations in six coastal counties, including all of Savannah's 150,000 residents, also effective at noon on Monday, Kemp's office said on Twitter. Slideshow, seven images, Dorian was tied with Gilbert 1988, Wilma 2005, and the 1935 Labor Day hurricane for the second strongest Atlantic hurricane on record, based on maximum sustained winds. Allen in 1980 was the most powerful, with 190 miles per hour winds, the NHC said. Scientists have warned that climate change is making hurricanes more intense. As global warming heats up the ocean surface temperature, storms gather more energy, which can lead to greater rainfall and stronger winds as they make landfall. When scientists put the pieces together, they project that in general, hurricanes will become more intense in a warming world. Much like we've seen recently with hurricanes Harvey, Michael and Florence, the Union of Concerned Scientists, a non-profit science advocacy group, said in a blog post about Hurricane Dorian. Reporting by Dan Takar in Marsh Harbor, Bahamas, Gabriella Borta in Titusville, Florida, Peter Seckley in New York, Steve Holland in Washington, Rebecca F. Ward in Mexico City, Rich McKay in Atlanta, Matthew Green in London and Ankit Ashmera and Philip George in Bengaluru, writing by Paul C. Mao, editing by Steve Orlovsky, David Gregorio and Nick Zeminski are standards. The Thomson Reuters Trust Principles. Let's blog ads. Why?